Okay, so I've moved out into my piano room, um, which is actually funny because it's kind of actually my dining room, but I don't have a dining room table. Um, instead, I have a grand piano in here, and I'll show that to you in just a second. But, um, so we're going to learn On Top of Spaghetti. Y'all know this song, On Top of Spaghetti, all covered with cheese. If you don't, it's a really funny one to, to learn. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn to page 59 in your book. 59 in your book. It should look like this right now. Okay, so it should be black and white. All right, you'll notice we see our triangles. Okay, um, these are our, um, our chord triangles, our red chord, our blue chord, and our yellow chord. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to color each triangle according to which chord it is, whether it's the red chord. All right, remember the red chord. Do, mi, so, do, mi, so. Blue chord. Do, fa, la, do, fa, la. Yellow chord. Ti, re, so, ti, re, so. Back to red chord. Do, mi, so, do. Okay, so remember, do, mi, so is your red chord. Do, fa, la is your blue chord. And ti, re, so is your yellow chord. Okay, so you're going to want to go ahead and color all of those. Color all those in, okay? The other thing that you're going to do is you're going to color down here. So do you see where it says auto harp, key of, I'm reading backwards on yours, but key of C major. Do you see that? You see which one? So blue chord, F major, yellow chord, G major. That's for later on. Don't really worry about that right now, parents. But um, the first thing is the Do Fa La. Do you see where it says Do Fa La? You're going to color that blue, okay? Do Mi So, you're going to color that one red. And T Re So, you're going to color that one yellow. That's like, this is our paper auto harp that you get to play. So remember, when you practice your fake auto harp, you're pressing down on the paper, where that, that button would be if we were pretending you were with Miss Jessica's auto harp and then you're strumming out. Practice those long strokes. Beat, beat, beat. Keep that of even space. Remember how we do that right on the beat? Okay, so parents, if you want to pause the video right now, um, this is a good time so you can color these guys. And then we're going to learn the song. And what we're going to do is we're going to follow along. All right? So, um... Let me, all right, I'm going to sing it first, and I'm going to, we're going to do our, um, um, our chords like this. Let me see. Um, how can I get this to, I wonder if I can, let's see. Let me see if y'all can, sorry, I'm bumping my computer around, guys. All right, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Okay, let me find something to prop up my computer. I'm working on all kinds of things here, guys, trying to <laughs> trying to get these videos done. All right, let's see. Um, that's not going to work. Maybe a book will work. Sorry, I'm bumping you around again. Ooh, that's better. Okay. So, I'm going to try to put something behind this book so it... Puts it angled a little bit. There we go. Okay, I think you're able to see and parents get the idea of what I'm doing. All right, so I'm going to play it because I don't have my auto harp here. It's at the studio and I'm at home. So I'm going to play the chords, okay? So this is our red chord. Do, mi, so. This is our blocked chord. All right? So what we're going to do is I'm going to play... As we as we follow along, I want you to follow along here with me, okay? And before I sing the song, we're going to do it with just the broken chords. All right, so we're going to start here. One, two, three. Here we go. Do, mi, so, move, mi, so, to the next one. Mi, so, do, mi, second line. Do, fa, la, do, fa, la, do, fa, la, do, fa. Back to third line. Do, Okay, 
Now I'm going to play blocked chords and I'm going to sing the song. So once I say ready, go, you're going to feel the beat like this. slow, slow, and you can follow along with the words. Okay, so I'm going to start at the beginning, and I'm just going to sing and play, all right? I'll probably tell you second line, third line, and fourth line, all right? When we get down to the fourth line, at the beginning, we're going to sing the first verse, then we're going to jump back to the top and go all the way back down for the second verse. One, two, three, here I go. time just so you have an extra time to practice it all right this time I'm gonna go back and help you um oh it's still working okay good <laughs> I thought oh my gosh I thought I'd hit the stop button Oh, I thought I hadn't recorded any of that. Okay, good. I'm, you're still with me. Okay, so um, so I'm gonna go back and we're gonna um, I'm gonna show you again with my finger pointing to kind of help you. Okay, here we go. Red chord, red chord, red chord. on top. Okay, so um, so um, notice that we did our red chord, our blue chord, and our yellow chord. All right, so color those for me. All right, so parents, this is one of the homeworks for this week that I really, really need a picture of. So I, so I can make sure, one, you got it correct, and if you need any help, I can help you. Um, but it's also just to kind of keep track. So um, I'm going to start, I'm going to make some calls. Um um, probably Wednesday morning. If I haven't heard from you, um, I'm going to be making some calls so that I can make sure um, if you're having technology um, issues or if you're not comfortable with technology or, or whatever. I'm, I'm willing to work on ways to figure, to figure this out. So um, just know that I'm here. I'm here to answer any questions. I want to keep music in the lives of so many children. Um, so I am 
going to be going live um, also on our group page and our Facebook uh, Music Garden Facebook page for some older um, sing-along songs um, for this age. So be on the lookout for that. I started some live videos this morning um, that I'm doing for the baby toddler. So if you know anybody that has a little one, um, join me in the mornings, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 10 a.m. on the Music Garden Facebook page. You can see me there and dance along and have fun. If you're older, that's great too. Um, but then I'm also going to be picking a time here in the next couple of days to be going live with some um, sing-alongs and some, some uh, um, activities for the older kids that I want to put out in the community just for um, community outreach. And I really just want to bring music out to all these people that are stuck in their homes and dealing with a lot. And so um, music has always brought me so much joy and I know it can bring everybody so much joy. So, all right, guys, I will type all this up in an email for you, get these videos out to you. Um, please, please, please be in contact with me. That would be my biggest wish right now. Make sure um, I'm getting your videos, I'm getting your um, pictures, all that kind of stuff. So, um, and if you have any questions, my phone number is, I don't know why this, I think this thing keeps going dark. I don't know. Somebody also give me feedback on that. Like, are you seeing me okay? So um, the other thing is um, my phone number is on the um, on the emails. Okay, that's my cell number. That's my direct cell number. So you can text me at any time. Um, make sure you put your name, um, who you are, when you text me. Um, sometimes that happens, and, and then I don't. I get a text, and I'm like. I don't know who this is, and I always feel awkward going, who are you? So um, so if I don't have you saved in my phone already, um, just make sure you put your name if you've never texted me before. All right, guys, I want you to have a fabulous day, and I look forward to seeing you in a couple of days with some more assignments. Um, in the meantime, enjoy this time at home with your family. Love on your family. They're special to you, um, and enjoy learning from home. All right. I love you guys and I miss you and I can't wait till we get to be together again. See you soon. Bye guys.